Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Tuesday in the fourth week of our Lenten season. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verses 1 to 3 and 5 to 16. There was a Jewish festival, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now at the sheep pool in Jerusalem, there is a building called Beth Sartha in Hebrew, consisting of five porticos. Under these were crowds of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed. One man there had an illness which had lasted 38 years. And when Jesus saw him lying there and knew he had been in this condition for a long time, he said, Do you want to be well again? Sir, replied the sick man, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is disturbed. And while I am still on the way, someone else gets there before me. Jesus said, Get up, pick up your sleeping mat, and walk. The man was cured at once, and he picked up his mat and walked away. Now that day happened to be the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath. You are not allowed to carry your sleeping mat. He replied, But the man who cured me told me, Pick up your mat and walk. The man had no idea who it was since Jesus had disappeared into the crowd that filled the place. After a while, Jesus met him in the temple and said, Now you are well again. Be sure not to sin any more, or something worse may happen to you. The man went back and told the Jews it was Jesus who had cured him. It was because he did things like this on the Sabbath that the Jews began to persecute Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, we hear Jesus' story of the marvelous healing at the pool of Bethsaida. Jesus' reflection on the healing and on the witness it provides, will give us the gospel reading for the next three days. On the gentle slope running down from the north into the temple, there is an artificial reservoir to gather the water flowing off the hillsides for a short time after heavy rains. And surrounding the pool are five colonnades, or rather four colonnades surrounding and one across the middle, dividing it into two pools. And this is called the Pool of Bethsaida. And part of the steps down into it still exists. So the author of the Gospel knows Jerusalem well. And around the pool are still the remains of little healing shrines, for it was obviously a place where sick and handicapped people came, expecting to be healed. And as we hear in the Gospel, Jesus comes to the pool and takes pity on one sufferer who we're told has been waiting for 38 years. 
And all the authorities can do is complain that Jesus should not work on the Sabbath. The Gospels of Matthew, Mark and Luke tell us that Jesus only made one visit to Jerusalem just at the end of his ministry. But in John's Gospel, which we read from, there are four visits. And with these extra visits to Jerusalem provided by John, we can see Jesus acting in Jerusalem as he did in Galilee. And again, his interpretation of the law is the same. No Sabbath obligation can stand in the way of Jesus' love and care for individuals. So today's gospel question, what stands in the way of my being able to love and care for others just as Jesus did? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our Lenten journey. Until then, take care. God bless. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.